Cosmos.com. Um, so you can just type that in and play around with this graphing calculator if you don't have a graphing calculator. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to explore um, parallel and perpendicular lines. And so let's just look at a line. So how about a line that looks like that? Right. And as a reminder, this is y equals mx plus b. So this has a slope of 3 and a y-intercept of 1. And um, you can see that it's going to go up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. And that's got a y-intercept of, of 0 comma 1 here. Um, so let's hit enter and let's get another equation. How about 3x minus 2? And if you notice, these two lines run parallel to each other. Um, parallel lines are lines that are in the same plane and never intersect each other. And so in this particular case, both of these lines are in the xy plane. Like, um, they're really like in my computer screen plane. Uh, and then they don't ever hit each other because they have the same slope. They have the same rate of change. They both are going up, um, up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. So they just keep, you know, running right next to each other. They have different y-intercepts. Um, so we can get as many of these as we want. Um, it's not going to matter, right? They're all going to run parallel to each other because they have the same slope. So if you want to show two lines are parallel, you just got to show me that they have the same slope and then they're parallel. Um, we can change those. Right? It doesn't really matter. We can make them whatever slope you want. Um, we can do a negative 2 fifths x. Right? We don't even have to have a y-intercept. We can just have it hit the origin. And we can do another negative 2 uh, fifths x plus 6. Right? We know that those two have the same slope, so they're going to be parallel. Okay? They have the same rate of change. In this case, they both go down 2 and over 5, down 2 and over 5, down 2 and over 5. Um, and again, proving that they're the parallel. Um, <clears throat> He's showing me that they have the same slope. Okay, now let's look at perpendicular. Okay, so let's just look at an easy one, like 2x plus um, 6. Okay, so that's got a y-intercept of 6, x-intercept of negative 3, because negative 3 makes the y-value 0, and it's got a slope of 2. So we want to have something um, perpendicular to that, and it's going to turn out that we need the opposite reciprocal slope. Opposite, well, if this has a positive slope, the perpendicular slope has to be negative, right? It's going to be something like this, uh, and it will turn out that it's the opposite reciprocal. The opposite reciprocal of a slope of 2 is going to be negative 1 half, okay? And again, it won't matter what the y-intercept is. As long as the slopes are opposite reciprocals, then the two lines will be perpendicular, and they're going to form four different 90-degree angles there. Because right? if they form 190, then with linear pairs and vertical angles, well, they all have to be 90. And let me show you. Again, I can make it that, and I can do a plus 3. It still won't matter. It changes where the lines intersect. Um, but all of those, as long as one of them is... Um, a slope of 2, the other ones will all be perpendicular as long as the slopes are opposite reciprocals. So a slope of 2 over 1 and negative 1 half will be perpendicular. And as you can see, these two both have a negative 1 half slope, and so then they're parallel. Okay, let's change it. Let's make it so it's like um, negative 5 sevenths x plus 1. Okay, there's the graph. It's got a y-intercept of 1 and a slope of negative 5 sevenths. And then if we want something perpendicular to it, we need opposite reciprocal. The opposite reciprocal of negative 5 sevenths is 7 fifths. Oh, well, buddy. Now the x needs to be there. Okay. And again, it doesn't matter what the y-intercept is. Those are perpendicular. If I make the y-intercept like negative 4, well, then I move it down. But again, these are going to form a right angle if and only if the slopes are opposite reciprocals of each other. Okay? Um, so hopefully that's a, a good introduction to what it would mean to be parallel lines and then perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. Parallel lines have the exact same slope. Um, 
And so what we're going to do is we might need to practice, you know, writing the parallel line to this equation through a point. Well, the first part is just to determine the slope. And if, as long as you know whether you want to be parallel or perpendicular to a different line, then you can know what slope to use. Then you can figure out what point to then use. Um, but hopefully this gets you a good visual of what, of what needs to happen here. And again, let's just do one more example. We can even use a decimal. Right, what if that was like 0.1x, something like that? Right, and see how like that's a small negative slope? Well, think about then you need a, a big positive slope if you're going to be perpendicular to it. So what's the opposite? Remember, 0.1 is 1 tenth. So the reciprocal, the uh, negative 1 tenth is positive 10. And then you can see that those are, in fact, perpendicular. And again, hopefully it makes sense that if this is like almost horizontal, this has to be vertical. Um, so the bigger the number I make this, then the smaller number that gets and, and vice versa. You know, the closer they are to being actually just a negative one, something like that, then this one is actually only a positive one. And hopefully, like, oh yeah, wait a second, that totally makes sense, right? A slope of one and a slope of negative one, they're both going at 45 degrees, but if this is 45 degrees up and this is 45 degrees down, well, then they actually will form a 90 degree angle. So even with, you know, negative one and one, because they happen to be reciprocals of each other, they work as well. Okay, so this is kind of your intro uh, induction to what parallel lines and perpendicular lo lines look like on a graph. Feel free to go to desmos.com on your iPad or on a computer and kind of play around with um, the equations of lines.